Hey chickies, okay today we are doing nail art etching. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. So firstly you want to start off with a white base. I'm using OPI's Alpine Snow. All the colours that I'm using are from OPI's True Neons collection. And yes, I've mentioned this on numerous occasions, but I am going to do it again. <laughs> so I always do two thin coats of OPI's Alpine Snow. It's my favourite white polish. And of course, once the white base was dry, I'm going to go ahead and do some nail cleanup porn. Here you go. You're welcome. <laughs> Next I'm adding a coat of Sesh Bead on all of my nails, in particular my ring finger nail because we're going to be doing some sponging. To protect the skin around my nails I'm using Simply Peel from Bliss Kiss. The sponge I'm using is a latex free sponge which I have pre-dampened, don't forget all the details about everything I use will be in the description box down below, as per usual. Now for the sponging I'm just splotching different colours of polish all over the sponge and then dabbing them on my nail. Uh, if I had have known it was going to turn out the way it did, it was quite a, it was rather muted, like I don't think these particular polishes are really brilliantly suited to gradients or sponging. I think I, I would have been much better off to use more creamy polishes than these true neons. I, I'm not saying I didn't like the end result but if I had it to do over again, which I'm 100% not going to do, <laughs> I would have used cream polishes. And even though I use Simply Peel, there's still a little bit to clean up, so here you go. Bonus nail cleanup porn. <laughs> And once that cleanup was done, again, another coat of Seshbeet. I know it seems like a lot, but it really isn't. Seshbeet has a wonderful way of leveling out and it's not nearly as thick as what you think. Okay, so let me explain something. This is take one of this process. And this, I just wanna show you what I did wrong or, or, or what didn't work before I show you what did work. Now, um, I found this image on Google Images of a, um, it was like a, like a soft rainbowy kind of uh, pineapple. It's hard to describe, but anyway, I thought it, the best way to <laughs> approach it was to, to paint it with white acrylic craft paint. Um, and that just didn't seem to work the way I thought it was going to, because everything in my head works out so much better than it does in real life. Anyway. This didn't work, so I scrapped this and I went to bed because I'd started this quite late, this one. And then I woke up the next morning and I had a light bulb moment and I did a, what I'm going to show you now. Okay, so this was my bright idea. I decided to come back in the next morning and you know, because I have sesh feet on my nails, it's completely rock hard, like rock, rock hard. 
Now I came in with a flat brush and some white acrylic craft paint and basically what you want to do is build up the layers so, and you want each layer to dry before you start the next layer. So you want them to be quite thin. I wouldn't suggest, you, you could probably use a sponge. Actually I probably should have tried that, would have given even more even coverage. Anyway, I will try that again. I'm going to try and do this again in a different design and I'll try and use a sponge. But either way I'm using a brush for this particular one. So depending on the acrylic craft paint that you're using, I'm using matte acrylic craft paint and it's taking a couple of coats, very thin coats, but a couple of coats to get it opaque because what we want is to not see any of that gradient that we did the night before. And I do recommend doing this at least, if you're going to do the gradient, then put sesh feet over the top and then wait at least a couple of hours before doing anything else. Otherwise you might damage it. Whilst I'm waiting for the white paint to dry, I'm going to do a quick bit of cleanup, but we're not going to do nail cleanup porn for this one because we want to get into the actual nail art, and otherwise this video would be so long, it'd be ridiculous. Now, you want to wait for the white paint to dry for at least a couple of hours, at least, because you want it to be really, really dry. And then I'm coming in with an orange wood stick, or you can use a toothpick. I probably, or actually I definitely wouldn't recommend using like a metal implement, because even though Sesh Beats rock hard, um, I, I think you, it's possi there's a possibility you could damage the, um, the gradient underneath, and you don't want to do that. So basically what I'm doing is etching out the bits that uh, I want to, where I want to see the gradient, uh, and we're doing that in a pattern. And in this particular instance, it's a pineapple. Um, no particular reason apart from the fact that I was going off the original image I found on Google Images. But you could do this for anything. You could do it for flowers. You could even do it for just like dots or something. Um, I'm not sure how it would work with different types of acrylic craft paint other than what I'm using. I'm just, as I said before, using a matte acrylic craft paint. Any matte acrylic craft paint will most likely working exactly the same way uh, yeah <laughs> I know this is ridiculously long and it is you know from the start of the many to the end of the many was a good 12 to 24 hours or 12 hours 12 yeah 12 hours so you know when you see people commenting on videos or well videos usually uh, ain't nobody got time for that. Well, yeah, most people don't have time for this. But if you want to give this a go, do it on the weekend when you've got, you know, time. Or if you have time on the weekends. Don't all nail artists stay home and paint their nails? So you should have time. Anyway, I think it was just a, an interesting way of doing this. Given the fact that me painting it didn't, wasn't working very well. Uh, so, hmm. I, I, yeah, I was really happy with it, and I'll confess, I did wear this for two days straight, because I, well, you know, I needed to get a little bit of time out of it, after spending all that time creating it. Depending on the tool that you're using to do the etching, just make sure that you don't apply too much pressure. You'll, you'll get to realise, or you'll, you'll get to understand what, or what, amount of pressure that is required to scratch off the paint. Now I'm not even sure if I filmed it to be honest but I did gouge the left hand side of my nail just a t just a touch but you can't really tell so I wasn't too concerned about it because I applied a little bit too much pressure in one area. Now don't be too concerned if you over etch in some places because you can always come back in with a fine detail brush and some more acrylic craft paint to fix up any mistakes. And if you have any little bits of uh, little bits of dry paint in areas, you can just get a, a like a stiff brush and just brush those off.
And once you've completed your design, you can go ahead and seal it all in with your favourite top coat. Of course, I am using sesh feet, as per usual. And after sesh feet, I then mattified it using INM Nails Out The Door Matte Top Coat. And that's it for this one. I really hope you liked it. I know it was very time consuming and most of you probably will just look at it and go, I'm not doing that, that takes too long. But I really hope you give it a go. Just, you know, even if you just do it once. And even if you just do like little flowers or something, not like a ridiculously silly uh, image like a pineapple with so many different elements in it. That was silly. I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, I, I really liked it. I really loved how, how it ended up looking. So I hope you guys liked it too. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And hopefully I don't sound so sick next time. Anyway. Oh, hey, do not forget to follow me on Snapchat. Because I'm really funny. I think I've said that before, but it's so true. People tell me all the time how funny I am. And I agree with them. <laughs> And don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you are, because it's important. Thumbs up. <laughs> Alright, I'm going. Bye.